Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to Tiger Rock was murder in VR chat. Oh my goodness, this is going to be one wild episode, folks. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get on to the reaction. Hello, it's me, your host, Potator, back with another hot, steaming pile of mash for you all today at the Adult Potato, where we're white, pasty, and full of starch. Now, we've been covering a lot of our not-so-beloved Roxanne Wolf as of recent, as she is incredibly entertaining. She even broke into our studio in order to push her own false agenda. That was shocking, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyways, our insiders have found that the previous serial dater turned serial dumper is actually a serial killer! That's right, folks. We couldn't believe it ourselves. Well, actually, yes we could, but that's besides the point. After dumping Glam Rock Freddy, then dumping Tiger Rock, she couldn't handle the backlash, so she decided to dump Tiger again! This time in a dumpster. That's right, folks. We're talking murder! Now, Tiger hasn't been seen or spotted since he was seen by paparazzi going inside a building with Roxanne right before that same building happened to blow up. Yes, it's a very tragic situation indeed. In order to cover her tracks and erase any evidence, Roxanne Wolf did the unthinkable too in blowing up her own household. So, what we're saying is this animatronic is deranged. So, if you see her in public, perhaps run the other way. Though that may initiate her primal instinct. Who knows? And Glamrock Freddy, watch your back, as you could be next. That's all we have for today on The Adult Potato. I've been your host, Potator. We're out. I uh. can't believe. Oh, uh, look, I know that they want to spread rumors for me and for the sake of entertainment, but they have gone too far this time. Roxanne, they've gone too far several times now, but it just, you have it's a point. getting worse and worse. This is the last thing I was expecting to be accused of literally murdering one of my best friends. Yeah, uh, going from serial dater to serial dumper to serial killer is That's quite kind of the crazy. Yes, it is. I, I wonder if I have any like legal action I can do, but oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not sure. I guess I have kind of put it on the back burner as of recent because I haven't actually technically met the guy, but how is your search for Tiger going? Well, that's the thing, Gregory. I've had literally no luck. I mean, ever since everything went down, he, he hasn't contacted me, and well, that would have me believe that he did end up... I don't even want to say it. Don't... No. Roxanne, I just... He can't be gone, right? Well, I don't think so. I mean, I went back to the explosion site and I went through all of the remnants and stuff that I could and there was no sign of him. And granted, the building did blow up and burn down, but there would have been something, right? Like, I saw other pieces of mimics. Yeah. I just feel like I've checked everywhere and done everything that I can, and I don't know what else to do. But now they're trying to say that I killed him? Oh, well, I really don't know what to do, but Roxanne, we can't let this rumor fly. I mean, this accusation of murder, it, it could get you arrested. I know, and that's another thing that I'm worried about. Look, if anything happens to me, you're to tell Freddy... Okay, and I really don't want Cassie being alone either, so if he could just move in here, just last case resort. I'm going to do my best not to let anything happen to me, but... Don't. We're going to do our best to make sure nothing happens to you. Roxanne, we're going to get to the bottom of this. If there was other mimic parts down there in the wreckage, but there was no Tiger Rock parts, then surely something had to have happened, right? I mean... Yes, they kind of imploded and everything, but we would have found something if he was down there still, and I don't know. There there just has to be something that we're missing. I don't know either, Gregory. I'm, I think I just need to take a little bit of time to myself. Um, just hearing that newscast and judging up all these feelings again doesn't exactly make me feel great, so... Um, We'll find him. I just... 
I need some time. Yeah. God, I feel awful. I wonder if there was anything I could do. I mean, God, I'm just a kid, and every time that I try to put my foot in things and get involved, I always just make things more of a mess, and then she gets mad at me, but this is her best friend we're talking about, and Tiger Rock, he didn't deserve any of this. He was just a pawn in all of Vanny's games. There has to be something I can do, or honestly, maybe something Cassie and I can do. I guess I can at least go talk to her. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Wait. We live with a murderer? Oh, this is so oh, terrible. Oh, How am I supposed me. to tell anyone about this? Roxanne is a murderer, but she works at the same place that every one of our friends works at. And she lives at our house. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Help me. Roxanne is not a murderer. Oh. Oh. Hey, listen to me. That newscast? They just like spreading misinformation and lies for the sake of entertainment. It's not true, I swear. How do we know that it's not true, though? What if we confront Roxanne and ask her about her murderous tendencies? Help me, because I blew up Fanny's location, not Roxanne. Oh my gosh, my best friend is a murderer! Oh, help me, I, I didn't murder anyone. Well, well, I mean, I guess that's not exactly true, Fanny. Probably is that, but look, she deserved okay. it though. She did deserve it, but what Roxanne doesn't deserve is these people thinking that she's to blame for Tiger Rock's disappearance. I mean, I know his fans are really upset that he's been gone, and they don't understand anything that's going on because, oh, I, I guess we don't know if he's dead or not. But that's besides the point. We we have to do something, Helpy, to help rid Roxanne of these rumors. What are we supposed to do? I, I don't know if I can do anything about it. Well, wait, but help me. We can turn Roxanne into the police. No, we're not turning Roxanne into the police. Help me, I think you can do something about it. Remember your location protocol? How if you get a sentence for something, you're able to search for it and find where it is or where it came from? Ooh, I do have something like that, so maybe we could use that to find where Tiger Rock is if he's not dead. Uh, yeah, well, let's just err on the side of, you know, uh, positivity. If we can give you anything of Tiger's, then you should be able to use that protocol and locate him. So it's just a matter of finding something that belongs to Tiger. Um, can you get the protocol up and running? Um, uh, yeah, um... I'll try to stay more positive as well. I gotta be honest. Ever since I haven't been connected to you, it's been really hard to feel emotions again. I'm sorry, Helpy. I think it's just best for the both of us. Yeah. Okay, I'll get the protocol up and running, and we'll go and find Tiger Rock ourselves! Perfect. Uh, all right. We have a game plan. Roxanne, I promise things are going to get better. Cassie? Cassie? Gregory? Hey! <sighs> Hey, um, so some pretty awful things are kind of happening right now. It's kind of a lot to explain. Um, you have kind of been MIA for a while, um, but this newscast, the adult potato, um, yeah, I, white I, pasty I, and full of starch. Um, Gregory, I saw it. I saw everything. Oh, and I can't believe the lies they're spewing about Roxanne. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. As long as you understand that they're lies, I was really worried. They're really good at manipulating people. Is this a rubber ducky? Yeah, Helpy found it somewhere. But, uh, okay, look, I know they're lies. Helpy, on the other hand, he's going to take some convincing. He already asked if we needed to turn Roxanne into the police, but look. look he's not going to try to turn Roxanne into the police, is he? That's a no. horrible thing. I know no. he's having a hard time feeling his emotions and everything as of lately, but, but we need to be able to teach him that he has to be able to have some sort of, you know, free thought. I know, Gregory. That's why we're going to show him that Roxanne's not a murderer. By finding Tiger. Oh. You see, uh, Helpy has a location protocol. We've used it before. As long as we're able to get him a read on Tiger Rock, he should be able to find similar, you know, items, i.e., well... Tiger Rock himself. So all we have to do is find something that 
either belongs to Tiger or would, you know, have a significant amount of his presence, if that makes sense. Animatronics don't really have DNA, so just something that he's been near or something that he owns. Let me think, let me think. Oh, I know exactly what we can use. Really? Oh, perfect. In that case, consider him found. Um, Cassie, I also just want to say thank you for even thinking about this. It seriously means the entire world to me. Roxanne's been freaking out all morning. She's been a mess for the last couple of weeks. So if we can find Tiger, her, one of her best friends, after all of this, we can put these rumors to rest. It'll be game changing. Yeah. We are going to find Tiger, Gregory. I promise. I'm not letting Roxy go down without a fight. Now, come on. Let's go and do this thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. This room over here, I think it was one of them. Roxanne told me a while ago that she was using one of the old garages in Roxy Raceway as Tiger Rock's green room until the Pizza Plex could you know, cough up some of their um, insane amount of money to build him one. But um, right. I think um, this is where he's been staying and this must be his charging part, but... Wait, that could work. I mean, I don't really see anything else that belongs to him in here, but if he used that charging port, then his data was manually uploaded every time he went in to charge. So, Helpy should be able to use this. Uh, here you go, Helpy. Um, let me just... Program him in right here. All right, you're programming Helpy into it? Yeah, I mean, that's how Helpy has to scope or, you know, any sign of Tiger Rock that he could use to locate him. Um, how is it going, Helpy? Do you see any, you know, sense of Tiger in there? I'm scanning Perfect. Keep up the good work. Let what? us know what happens. <laughs> Essie, you could not have possibly understood anything that he just said. I understood what he said. He said he's scanning and scoping for any data right now. Really? Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, keep downloading and uploading to the protocol, and hopefully, once you have enough information, you'll be able to locate him. Am I being pumped? I feel like I'm like losing my mind right now. What are you, Gregory? Are, are you okay? Helpy literally just said, like a French uh, person. I mean, he's talking through the fast wrench. It doesn't have the best speaker, but I could understand him just fine. Oh, Helpy, seriously, I feel like you're not even speaking English. Oh, wait, actually? Oh my gosh, this is the best news ever. What happened? Well, Helpy said that he located Tiger and that he's super deep underground, which doesn't exactly make sense, but that's a really good sign, Gregory. That means he's not in the wreckage of the explosion, but where would he be deep underground at? Oh, wait, wait, wait. so he's not in the wreckage, but if Helpy was able to trace Tiger really deep underground, then he must be the uh, I think there's only one place that he could be. Really? Yeah, I... I think I need to call Roxanne. Yeah, Thank you, Helpy, for all of your hard work, I think. Yep. He said, of course, he'll do anything to help you and Roxanne. Um, I'll get him out of the machine. Um, you go give her a call. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, this is going to be really hard to tell Roxanne. We both hate this place so much, but, um... All right, dialing. Come on, Roxanne, please pick up, please pick up. Gregory, what is it? Um, hey, Roxanne, um, this is gonna be kind of a lot, I think, but, um, uh, I know where Tiger is. A few hours later. I searched everywhere under this stupid pizzeria. He's gotta be down here somewhere. That's what Gregory said anyway, he was deep underground, and it doesn't get more deep underground than this. Come on, Tiger. You have to be here somewhere. Um, through this door? No, I don't think so. I mean, he could be down here in this scooper room. 
us look oddly funky for some reason. Uh, Tiger? Who's there? Tiger? Is that you? Roxy? Yeah, it's me. Uh, where... Where are you? Just... Don't worry about it and... Go away. Tiger, I... I'm not going to do that. At the very least, not without a conversation. I, I've been... Worried about you. Roxy, I don't want to do this. Just please, leave me be. Tiger, if you think that I'm just going to leave my best friend underground here to rot away, then you must not know me very well. Because if you're staying here, then I am too. <sighs> Why are you doing this, Roxy? Is, isn't it obvious? I care about you. Can, can you just come out and talk to me? Please? Yeah. You don't understand how worried I've been. I... Tiger, I thought you died. I wanted you to think that I died. I, I used all the mimics exploding as, as an excuse to get out of here. But why? Get out of your life for good. I, That's not what I wanted. It's what I wanted, though, Roxy. Look, after everything that we've been through... I tried so hard to be good. I, I wanted to be good for the people that I love and the people that love me. I wanted to spread my message of music to the world and I just wanted to be true to me and be everything that I wanted, but all I did was cause havoc and I wrecked things and I should have never listened to her, Roxy, but I did. I did awful horrible things and I don't ever want to do anything like that again I'm I'm just trying to do what's best for the world and for you Tiger. please just go away no <clears throat> look I understand where you're coming from and it's really easy to just focus on all that negativity all the bad that you've done and the bad things that you've caused, but think about the good, Tiger. All the good that came out of you telling me about Vanny in the first place, she was manipulating a child. And that child is now safe because of you. I mean, Gregory is safe because of you. I'm safe because of you. Everything involving her, it's... It's done and dealt with. And I know it might be easy to feel like you coming down here is the right thing for me or for your fans or whoever, but look, I don't want to make this about me, but things aren't easy up there. In fact, they're really damn difficult, actually. I seem like I come to you every time there's a new rumor, but... I'm not just a serial dater or serial dumper anymore. Uh, people think I... People think I killed you. What? Wait, 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 wait. Why would they even think that? Because we were seen going into the building together, and then it blew up and you've been gone ever since. Oh my gosh. And even when I try to help people and go into hiding, I still end up hurting everyone. But that's what I'm trying to say, Tiger. Hurting yourself down here, just rotting away, that's not helping anyone. Your fans miss you. I miss you. And you have so much to live for. And I'm not going to say that you coming back is going to solve everything. I'm not going to say that it's ever going to be completely easy, but... You deserve the chance to have those ups and downs. Plus, I mean, Gregory still really wants to meet you. He does? Of course. <sighs> Look, I'm really sorry. Again. 
for everything I've done, Roxy. I just, I didn't know how I was supposed to come back after everything. I, Trust me, I understand it more than you could ever imagine. It's coming from somebody who, well, she was shattered mentally and physically. She got her son possessed by a demon. So, look, we've all done our fair share of bad things, but it's what we try to do that matters. And you coming down here just shows how much you truly care. Do you think a bad person would be letting himself just depreciate down here underground just in order to keep the rest of the world safe? No. I didn't know what else to do. I know. And I'm sure you're going to make more mistakes. I'm sure I'm going to make more mistakes, but I know we're not human, but that's the one human thing about us, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. No. So, where do we go from here? Uh, well, you can either stay down here and let the world carry on without you, or you can take my hand and we can get out of here together. Your call. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, and I'll be here with you every step of the way. Okay, yeah. That, that sounds good. <sighs> I'm on Tiger. Well, there you have it, guys. That is Tiger Rock was murdered in the VR chat. If you guys stay tuned to very angry, I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down in the comments below. The original will be linked in the description. My projection will be description well. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.